I look pretty though. <laughs> My head do look big though, is it grown? I don't know. My merch is finally here. It's officially live for you all to go and shop merchlabs.shop backslash collections backslash all of destiny or just use the link in my description box down below. It'll take you directly to the website where you all can get my official merch. This is the only website where you all can get my merch. You can get the fleet tee, you can get the unrecording tee or just put both of them in your cart. Hurry up. It is only available for a limited time. So go and shop now. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. So in this video, I'll be doing a hair transformation on my mom. Featuring this wig from Wild African. This video is sponsored by Wild African, and this is what it looks like straight out of the box. The knots are already bleached. It does have an adjustable band already added onto the wig, which is similar to how a bra strap works. So that's super convenient. There is also a pre plug hairline, and also the knots are already bleached. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by dampening the hair with water and just do a little bit of plucking because the idea for this video was to show you all straight out of the box application which will be easy for you all to follow at home. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month while African will be donating 50 cents for every wig purchased to the Memorial Care Long Beach Medical Center Hospital so definitely be sure to use the coupon code in my description box down below. Hey y'all, I thought Lucky enough for me, my mom braided down her own hair while I was plucking the wig. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the stocking cap provided by Wild African and apply that to my mom's head. It's just a little bit of the got to be glue gel on my hands just to brush that back. I'm going to go ahead and tuck her hair in the back underneath the cap. And I'm going to use the adjustable straps on the wig and just kind of move those inward for a more snug fit. Later on in the video, you all will see where we did undo the adjustable band that's on the wig since we were kind of going to use the Gatsby glue gel to seal it down I felt that the band was kind of pulling back the wig if that makes sense taking some pressed powder by black radiance and applying that to the stocking cap to better blend it with her skin tone checking to see the fit of the wig and how we're going to position it along my mom's hairline and then I'm going to go ahead and fold it back apply the Gatsby glue gel and I'll be using the Got To Be Glam Force Free Spray as well as my blow dryer on the cool setting and also the warm setting to dry this um, a little bit before we apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and use some shears to, or some scissors, whatever you want to call them, the little fabric ones with the cute little designs, just to basically cut the hair into three parts. And this will help me to apply the wig, not in a straight line, just because you want to pull the front forward in the middle, and then the sides are at a different positioning. And so by cutting it right in front of that, basically splitting it into three parts, that helps us to align the wig versus trying to apply the entire ear to ear application, if that makes sense. I'm positioning that where I I would like for it to be and then I use the tip of the red tail comb to kind of press the lace into the gel this is called got to be glue gel but it's just a gel it's not an actual glue and we're going to just basically use the comb to kind of comb the hair back and also that helps me to press the lace into the gel alternating the blow dryer on the cool setting as well as the warm setting So I'm using different methods to show you all how you can remove the excess lace. You can use a razor or you can use these scissors. One of my subscribers recommended this to me in my Instagram DM a while ago. Since it has that little cute little shape on the end, it won't have like a straight line which is more noticeable. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut out the ear tabs. I'm so behind on this voiceover. Oh my god. And then I'm also going to section out the uh, baby hair as well. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of mousse. Do not use too much. If you all keep up with my wig uh, installs here on YouTube, then you all saw what happened last time when I applied too much. Now, decide where you want your part to be. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the Nairobi Foaming Lotion just to apply that into the parting space to really help to guide it in the direction we want the hair to go in. Now I'm using some scissors just to trim down the hairs that we will use to create baby hair and then take a hair scarf since I'm out of the wrap strips that I normally use to basically secure down the hair while we begin the styling process. Move it down your wall in there. Alright, let's do the styling. 
So the styling process is one of the easiest that I've ever done. I'm basically going to start off by taking water and dampening the hair. After that, I'm using my Nairobi foaming lotion. I'm just going to work that all over the hair. I was going to do it all in one big glob. <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and section the hair in half. So that way I can make sure the hair underneath is just as defined in style as the top portions. So dampening the hair with water, taking some more of your foaming lotion of choice, and then just sort of scrunch the hair in an upwards direction to get this super cute, effortless, wavy look. For this transformation, I definitely wanted to keep everything simple, something that my mom could maintain on her own since you all know that I did move out. I want her to be able to wake up and style a wig by herself. So this method of just dampening the hair, scrunching the curls is something that I know my mom can do at home. As far as me applying the wig on her, she's been wearing her own hair for a good while. I was like, can we switch up the tempo, baby? Can I help you to slay a little bit harder, please ma'am? After the mousse and water have been applied to the hair, scrunching it in that upwards motion really brings out the wavy look. This ain't how you do your style. No, why you so trying to do my style like it's a knot? You pulled it down off a niche. Yeah, then you take the knot out. Down in the background. It ain't coming off at night if you do this. They're gonna get it off in the day. Yeah. Hopefully they'll be like, please, please be trying to do it. You know, like, where the stitching is over here. Because you pulled it so tight. Girl, she didn't got this right. <laughs> So you over double to drop your style that night. Mm -hmm. Honey, you don't want to come out. Oh, yeah, like edges now. Ooh, look at that. Girl, look. Girl, look at so for nightly maintenance, I recommend just applying a scarf back over the edges and maybe sleeping in a bonnet. You can fluff your curls, use some more water and mousse if needed to maintain this hairstyle. I look pretty though. <laughs> I'm using Eco Style Gel to lay the edges and I'll be taking a damp cloth to remove any of the excess product from my mom's hairline. Y'all look pretty, bro. I be dumping my head. Do look big, do it grow? Oh no. <laughs> Don't it look big? Put your face inside mine. Oh my god. Look into the camera. Look at the camera. Look at red got that look into the camera. Look right there. I got a little bit. Thumbnail. She's hilarious. <laughs> 10 minutes to one girl. I got to take a bath for her dog. That's what I'm talking about, honey. When you got good hair, I got to tie it up, put on your clothes. Folks that bad hair, got to try to figure out what they go to. Even though she posts embarrassing photos of me sometimes, follow my mom on Instagram. Y'all look pretty, but don't my hair look a little big. Look at that hair on his head. Now. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Like Girl, that's what I'm talking about, honey. So taking a quick glance at the hair, you all can see what difference this will make. I'm using the Black Radiance Press Powder. This one is in Creamy Beige. You don't have to use this exact one. If you are to wear makeup, whatever finishing or face powder you use will be perfect for this because it already matches your skin tone. So I'm just using a little flat brush just to apply that in various places for a more opened up scalp sort of look if you will. I know it looks harsh right now but later on I take a larger more fluffy brush and I run that along the hairline. This also helps to blend everything together. And if that's not enough for you, take a spray bottle, the same one that has the water in it. Or for extra hold, you can use a holding spray um, and that'll help to kind of tone down the powder the same way when you use a setting spray on your makeup. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Is that lace? What lace? No, it's sad to silk and ruffles. Is that lace? Oh, I hate that question. It's so disrespectful, isn't it, to assume that I'm wearing a wig? I don't care, baby. I tell Baby, but yeah, it's a wig. It's lace, too. I'm going to do a wig. I'm going to do a wig. I don't know if I can do that one for you. Okay, Don't go in too heavy with the water because it will lift your lace. Take it down. You can stand up actually. Special thank you to my mom for being my model and to Wow African for sponsoring this video. Give me something. So that is pretty much it for this video. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Definitely check out the links in my description box if you all are curious and interested in this hair. Be sure to use my coupon code to save money on your purchase. If you all like the shirt that I'm wearing, my merch is out and available now. Mine's is in a size small, so definitely go and shop while it's available. 
And I thank you all so much for watching. Oh, you want more? You're still here? Okay, cool. So click on one of the cards on my screen. It'll take you to more content that features my mom on my channel. And click on my face to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And I'll talk to you in my next upload.